Got to look at Christine's uh, Honda Accord. They said they put a battery in it, but the car still won't start. So need to verify what's going on. Possibly starter. I'm gonna have you go ahead and crank it. See if I could, if we could just see if we could get the car to start. I mean, we know it's the starter, but just want to see if we could start it. I'll let you know when. You, you ready? Okay, let's try to start it. I'm gonna have to work on it here. <laughs> Fuck. Okay. Finally, the weekend begins. Um, it's Friday. Just... Baby girl wanted to go with me to pick up the her mommy. The wifey, yeah, that's what's up. Rhea, look at all that fog over the ocean. Oh, <laughs> the Goodyear blimp. And it went earn dogs a pimp. All right, just picked up the wifey. We're over here at Nasty City. I think she doesn't, City. Michelle doesn't like it, I think, like that. Excuse me for a second, she on she on the phone. That's a slang term for it. That's what some people call she, it, girl. She wants it um, scheduled as much as Ready to be want, on the vlog again, know? girl? How's your Friday going? That's what I'm, so that's what I was telling uh, Charity. I'm like, let's just show her that yeah, we're mommy doing talks loud, it. huh? <laughs> we're doing it. <laughs> and Hello, Jonathan. Hello, jolly afternoon. Yeah, let me get the um the ten piece bucket. Would you again if you're taking spicy? Ah, uh, no, just a regular. Yeah, them guys, they can't handle it. All right, just left the pad. Gotta go do a starter on a 2003 Accord. So we back from the other night. Slap on a Denso starter on your oh, neighbor's neighbor's dog starts to bark. Come on now, ruining the vlog, man. So I was saying 2003 Accord. I'm gonna do the starter. It's underneath the manifold, so you have to take the manifold off. And the brackets and whatnot. All right, let's have at it. Well, it's pretty dark, so I need to get this done. Probably put you guys on a time lapse real quick. Yeah. All right, the struggle with this didn't have the right tool. All I had was a mid, so I had to use a swivel and an extension. Be good. All right, manifold is out. Did you get that? Easy peasy, right? Now that the manifold's out the way, it should be straightforward. You got this clip on the intake manifold bracket, this vacuum hose, and then this clips on to a bracket. It's a good idea to have a throttle body gasket just in case you rip this one, but for the most part, they break clean if you hit it the right way. So if you hit it, hit the throttle body, tap it, it should break the throttle body gasket clean off the manifold. But if you're not lucky, it'll tear. You got the starter solenoid wire and then the battery hot wire. Careful with this knock sensor. I'd probably undo this so you could get to that 14 back there and then the 17 right there. Taking off the 12 millimeter nut for the hot wire. So I'm gonna tell you guys a story. Shout out to my cousin Leo. One time he was about to do a starter on his Isuzu Rodeo and he ordered a starter and he said, think I'll be able to do my starter? I said, have you ever done one? He's all, no, but it's just two bolts. I said, okay, um, let me know how that goes. Just hit me up, if, if, if anything. He hit me up, he's all, hey, you think you helped me with the starter? <laughs> so two bolts, but where is those bolts located? Could you see those bolts? That's what it is, is depends where the starter's located. Damn, this dog. So here's some more advice. Anytime you do a starter or alternator, so you got this hot wire here. If that hits ground and you have the battery connected, that could cause some little arky sparkies and you don't want that. So you always want to disconnect the battery. Make sure, you know, it doesn't touch. Always make sure it's disconnected. We got everything out the way. Now we could get to those two bolts. I'm gonna try to break loose the 14 millimeter first. Keyword try. <coughs> God damn, it's on there. Need some leverage. Just gotta be careful, there's a water pipe right there. Got it. Golden. Now the 17. 
the long or the 17 bolt that goes through the tranny. gym membership when you go work on a car. Alright, 14 millimeter swivel. Okay, use my gear wrench. I didn't want my ratchet getting stuck on the water pipe or risk chance messing up this knock sensor right there. You get the idea. 14 millimeter head bolt is removed. What is that noise? 17 millimeter socket mid. Old starter is out. Just so you know, this could be rebuilt. There are kits out there um, where you can change the brushes but in this case we're not gonna get into that we can we just replace the whole starter the teeth on the ring gear look good I mean it never had a grinding noise anyway just the typical click click symptom that your starter is bad one of the symptoms that your starter is bad all right, what we got here is an aftermarket Denso. And this is still original Honda OEM manufacturer, Mitsuba, made in Japan. Vehicle is 160,000 miles. I'm gonna open the box and compare it. Make sure we got the right part. Denso starter. So even though this comes with a, oh look, it comes with a torque spec. Torque spec, even though this comes with a bolt, I still like using the original OEM bolt. That's just me. Reason behind that is the OEM bolt is a 12 millimeter head as to the reman one, they, when the aftermarket starters, they like putting 13 millimeter for some reason. All right, let's go. Two bolts back in, 17, flashlight. my flashlight. Always start them off by hand first before you use any pneumatic tool. There are torque specs to these but based on my experience Click. Basically, no need to be an animal with this. Remember this, lug nuts are 19 millimeters heads on most Japanese cars, unless it's Toyota Nissan 21. So you don't need to go to town on a 17 millimeter or 14 millimeter head bolt. Now let's put back the battery hot wire. See if I could do this with one hand. Same with this, don't need to go to town. Just make sure it's snug. Not too tight, not too loose. So you want to probably hold the wrench closer so you don't over torque it like so. Because if you come out here, you'll have too much leverage and you might over tighten it. Should be good right there. Snug. Make sure the dust boot wraps around here perfectly and snug so no debris or moisture gets in there. Come on. There you go. Good boy. This is your um, solenoid wire. Make sure it's on there good. I'm gonna pull this back a little bit so you can see that the terminal is going in straight. And I need practice. I need a cameraman. Where my cameraman at? I had to put the iPhone down real quick. Make sure this doesn't pull out easily because if it does, then you might have to crimp the wire a little bit. All right, good to go. That's it. That's how you do a starter. Now you just put everything back in the reverse. That no 
forget that 12 millimeter bolt down there for the intake manifold bracket. And you always want to make sure that the cables, the throttle cables didn't come off of the, the reel over here. Because if it does, you will get no throttle or the throttle could get stuck and you don't want that if it binds up somewhere. get this wire harness connector that we disconnected. Glove brake time. All right, quick overview. Making sure we put the vacuum hoses for the purge control solenoid back where they were. Clip. We'll make sure that's on. You want to put everything back the way you found it, unless it wasn't put on right before. Nap sensor plugged in. TPS. We never touched it. Good battery connections. All right. Just gonna see if the staying starts. Fingers crossed. So just tested out the starter again. It's making a horrible sound from the starter so we might have a bad starter terrible and she also has an oil leak possibly from the VTEC solenoid and the VTC solenoid yeah I'm gonna return the starter I am gonna chill out for tonight because okay. I'm beat see how the engine's smoking that's from oil, the oil leak. Oh, okay. So that, I mean, should be addressed because that's so that, that kind of dangerous. And we're back. Got to pull the starter back out. Wow. After the car initially started, it was sounding great. As the car warmed up, shut the car off, start the car again. Starter is making horrible noises. Looks like we might have a defective starter. Hopefully that's all it is. So I'm going to have to do a exchange. Back at it again. Terrible. Alright, made it back. Going back in with another starter. Let's see how this one sounds. Second starter is on. Whew. Let's hope this starter is cool. much better and she lost her radio code again i didn't have it memorized so let's shut it off and make sure it's cool again much better and it is a reman uh, but it's better than paying brand new six hundred dollars for our oem one a reman is a lot cheaper, but it's still about three to four hundred dollars. Man, we're running late for basketball. These kids want to tag along. They don't. They lagging. What's going on? Shoe situation. What's going on? Oh man. Oh man. Shoot the ball, girl. Let me see. Let me see the ball. Is there a lot of air? Let me see the ball. Dribble. Not that much. Kind of flat. Here, like this. Oh. <laughs> oh, it is flat. Shoot the J, shoot it. Shoot the J. Use your legs, use your legs and then. There you go, higher, put some uh, force in there. There you go, try it. You wanna show you how? Pass the ball. I'm better at soccer than basketball. Oh really, you play soccer? Go, just like that, go do it. Use your fingers, there it is. <laughs> Saturday B ball. Saturday B ball. Saturday B ball. What's wrong, guys? You guys quiet. She can't talk. She lost her voice. She can talk for a little bit. Maybe that one lady from uh, Little Mermaid took it. So this is my count. All right, we're here with uh, oh the God. great <laughs> Latami La, you know? La La. From La La Land. Right, this, this is my account. Look, he's gonna follow Team Xer's YouTube. 
Man, we're honored, bro. For real. Oh my God, Harry. For real. Ready? Oh, oh, oh! There you go. All right, Arbel, you, you see that?